Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Pigeon Gaming. That's right, Pigeon Gaming. We're back here with 60 seconds. Yes, another episode on 60 seconds. Last time we were in a pretty um alright. <laughs> well, it was a it was def it was not the best of situations, but definitely not the worst. Um I've been really looking forward to playing this game cuz to record another one, and as you may have noticed, I've got a new headset so my voice quality is actually a uh, heck of a lot better than um <coughs> yes but if it's too quiet please tell me because i've just had to boost it up a bit but yes so we'll be continuing and i hope we'll get through 20 another 20 days because that's what we try to do also um also also uh, um, I don't know why, but we still haven't got any Euro Truck videos uploaded, so what I'm going to do is hopefully get my friend to upload them, because mine seems to take forever to upload it, but with ju that particular game, it's fine with this thing, but I don't get it, I just, I just don't get it, so you'll be seeing loads of, um, if you get a whole ambush of Euro Truck videos, that will be why, so let's go, and let me get, make sure it's not too loud for me. <coughs> Magic kit for all injuries ranging from paper cuts to these decapitations and atomic venture raids. Yup. So what day were we on? Twenty four. Oh dear. I remember the situation, and our pal aren't working. We have our friend Timmy, who is very sick. And our friend Ted, who was very hungry and fatigued, oh dear. And so we are left with no photos, no news, and no happy thoughts. The world is too cruel. Timmy has rested. Ted is hungry. It's time to wash, ration some supplies. Uh, we're going to keep them. It's become more and more difficult to breathe in the shelter over the last couple of hours. We suspect that there's something going wrong with the ventilation. Maybe it's got stuck somehow. But we, but how? We need to investigate or we might suffocate. Bug spray. Says you can use it. Might as well use it. Ooh, Dollar is back. just to be on the safe side. Turned it out, it was the right thing to do. A couple of mutated insects fell out, followed by a gust of fresh air. Minus one bug spray. We, we were glad to see Dollaris come back, or Dollaris, safely from the wastelands. Right. Our need for entertainment took us to the local cinema. A portion of the theatre is still standing including at least one cinema hall. We went in hoping to scavenge some, something or at least find some film posters. The cinema had a strict policy of not bringing your own drinks into the movie hall. Seems like somebody broke the rules a little. We found, we found a lot of bottles of, a lot of bottles in the last row of the hall. Some were even full. Under the, under the seats, we found a deck of cards. It must have been a really boring movie if they felt the need, <laughs> if someone felt they needed to bring a game to, to the screening. Yep, definitely. Plus one cards. We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Dolores is pretty fatigued, and Dolores is very tired. Ted is hungry. Yeah, they all need some water. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop, yet here we are. We can clearly hear 
hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Should someone answer it? Yeah, let's go, Timmy. Timmy's gone. Did we start on day 24? Because I actually didn't. So we're going up to day 44, hopefully. Oh, gosh. Um. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We started exchanging information, but the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope we hope uh, we hope they will get back to us. We're so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the waste and safe with us now. Timmy is very hungry. Dolores has barely enough strength left. If she doesn't eat tonight, she will not last till morning. Well we may be losing Dolores then. We don't actually have any food. We have some water. That you can give Timmy. This is bad. Um Right. Let's plan an expedition. We may not do it. It's tough in these conditions. Yep. Where are we still alive? Still alive. Dolores is not. We have lost Dolores and he has gone crazy. Oh dear. Um, fatigued. Dolores bravely faced hunger. However, eating is a habit that is hard to shake off. She couldn't take it anymore. Some mornings we feel a bit hopeless. We need to pull ourselves together and be more optimistic. The army can't be far. Timmy is very hungry. Timmy was driven crazy. And Timmy is pretty fatigued. Ted is hungry. Um, well. Not making an expedition tonight. Day 28. Oh no. Dear no. Ted's became sick. That is very, very bad. The point is because we just killed Timmy and now Ted is in starvation. Oh dear. We urgently need to plan an expedition. Water. This could be the end of it, guys. No. Oh dear. Well, that is it for us, guys. Not literally. We got. What did we get up to? Ted. Ted got killed. Um, right. So. Yeah. Starved to death. I knew we should have got some food. We are basically... Okay, guys, we're going to start it again. And hopefully we'll do better. And, uh, yes, yeah, so... Our first season we've got 29 days and yep so we end up to 29 days so we're gonna try and get up to we're gonna get up, go up we're gonna start again and we're going to yeah we'll perish we're gonna start again but we're going to um go up to day 14 and hopefully do a heck of a lot better if you want to see me do it on easy can do but we're going to keep doing this for a repeat um so here we go again guys right the apocalypse batman um, got some junk on my fingers um, 
double of the expiration time. Oh, oops. Let's begin, as it says, let's begin our adventure. So guys, season two, okay? Season two. We're back. Get it. Soup. Get a gas mask. Gotta get that. Oh no, there's no water, sorry. Fudge. Go, click it. gonna do this one we're gonna start again no. I didn't think we did well I, I didn't think that scavenge was um, pretty much good we're gonna do that again I don't um, yeah we're gonna start that scavenge completely all over again it's maybe a bit of a longer video but the end huh <laughs> well it was yeah we didn't have we had barely any water. So let's go again. And this time I'm gonna really try and get the radio. Let's go, go, go. Beginning our adventure. This is gonna become a regular thing, how for we to survive. Um is this anything in there? Oh, this is a good room. Yes. Get the gas mask. And there's also a medikit. Really need some soup. I just saw the radiator. Get the fire reacts. Gonna get water now. Supplies. Bug spray. Food. Water. Don't know if we've got enough water. Um, no, let's say it. Unfortunately, we didn't get Timu. Or Mary Jane. We only got two people, I think. Hope so. Well, day one. Okay. So, a new beginning. Let's... Screenshot saved. Let's go. Let's start our adventure, because I think we got a pretty decent start. Just the two of us. There wasn't enough time for to get the kids. But surely this is just a drill. And they're okay, right? We vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for them upstairs. Turns out being messy can really work in your favour. Plus one gun. Nice. Who stashes a gun though in the shelter? I don't know. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans and we'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. 
classic turn. Um, there's just barely enough water for, all, for all, everyone. We're having to ration it strictly. Yup. No kidding. We'll have to ration that definitely strictly. Um, right, we really... Uh, I think I should turn the volume. If the music's really loud on this one, I'm very sorry, but I will fix it. And yeah, I'll fix it next time. Okay, rationing surprise. No ration on the first day. Oh dear, we just remember we planned on taking a trip sa south in two months if it's still there. We are going, right? We're pretty sure they don't bomb warm places. Um, yeah. So we're gonna go up to day 14, so, yeah, I think that's 20, um, start a new, let's go, so, we can make it work even in Toronto, question is, how do we find a boat to get out of there, we heard that that's the best way to get to Europe, dollar is as fine and well, as much as anyone could be at this tiny shelter. And I missed something. Ted says there's no need to worry about him, he's okay. Um, let's have to give them a bit of water and a bit of soup. We are actually going to plan an expedition very early on because I um, we can't do this. What the hell are those sounds? Are they coming from the goddamn walls? They are driving us crazily. Crazily? Crazy. Is there something crawling in the air vents? Relax, take a deep breath. We should probably calm down before we start tearing them down. Maybe try relaxing for a bit. Yeah. Right. Uh, Dolores has gone crazy. Maybe that's not the best time to send her out on a trip. Do we urgently need- oh. Dolores no longer talks to us. After Dolores, can you hear us? Autumn can really get to you in the shelter. It can lead you to dark places. Trust us. Dolores' sal sanity is questionable. Um. I don't know if this is a good time to send her out. I think we'll wait. Yeah. I'm not actually going to send her out. Maybe a bad decision. But is she still crazy? Dolores still isn't in full control of her mind. We're not sure what monsters are inhabiting it, but we wish they would go away. This morning has been calm enough for her. Uh, not fresh air. Dolores might be fit enough. Yeah. We'll start preparing an expedition. Ooh. If there's one sure way to get your attention is it's banging on our shelter door. Whoever whoever it is, they're quite persistent. And they've been at it for the past five minutes. Should we open? Yes, go on. Maybe one of the children. Oh. First thing crazy. First thing crazy. Okay. A group of travellers wearing gas masks, carrying some serious looking equipment, gave us the purified water. Before we could thank them, they turned away and left. There is some water left. Dollar should get it. This is a good day to go outside and stretch it a bit and get some fresh, toxic air. Maybe a scavenge thing or two. We should, could use some extra supplies if we, that's if we want to survive. Yes, um, get, go outside, Dolores. We're taking Dolores outside. She's gone. Hopefully her sanity is questionable. Why couldn't we take the gas mask out? But I don't know. If you know 
why we couldn't take that out. Uh, Donna Rez is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. There's nothing going on with Ted. Nothing new anyway. Yay. Wouldn't it be fantastic if we could just get out and leave? Walk to the surface like we used to. Smell the fumes and pollution. Ah, that's the scent of freedom we miss. Yeah. It is definitely a long good time. Okay, Ted's good. Now, unlike last time, I think we should really just save the medic kit for Ted and only Ted. Um, at the moment. Definitely at the moment, we're not going to give it to Donnerez. As long as we're, we're safe, we can stay down here. This morning has been calm enough for Ted and he is doing well. Uh, no rationing there. We heard some something about supply drops on the radio. This might just be what we need to survive, and it's supposed to happen near our house. Shall we go out and find if it's really happening? Yes, do. Uh oh, wait, does that mean? It was really happening, but we've ruined our gas bars. But Ted's still alright, so. We went outside to get the supplies and our gas mask got a bit damaged. Note taken. Don't stand under a supply drop freight when it's falling out of the sky. Really, Ted? The air drop crate we found wasn't exactly huge, but it contained a few supplies that will definitely help us. We were especially happy to find some water and some food. For a minute we thought it was canned meat, but then we found out it was tomato soup. Our theory is that this whole country used to run on tomatoes, and no one's expected a thing. Ted to drink something soon. Sure, have something, Ted. And you can have some food as well. It's hard being down here, living down here. We need to make the best of it, or else we might find ourselves in even more trouble. Yep, that is true. Day 9 and Dollar Resistance back. Oh dear. It's, it's hard not to worry considering our current situation. Some days we're still struggling to deal with this shelter life. But we can't lose help. Ted seems to be doing alright even though it's gone to a crappy place. Uh, as long as we have food and water we can stay locked in. But we'll need to leave eventually. It would be a good to... It would be good to head straight to safety instead of get getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that some brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to well, some hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy had comics about those, so you know they must exist. <laughs> all we need to all we need to do is contact the military. Use the radio. Definitely use the radio. Oh! And our radio is still good. A pair of strangers, probably bandits, searched the remains of our house above. We. Above. We overheard them talking. One of them mentioned they'd captured a woman whose description matched Dolores. We don't think they will let her go. We knew it. The government has not fallen and they are coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates in their radio transmission but we're sure they won't keep us waiting for long. They said they will be in touch to await further instructions. No problems traveling 10 is fine in the morning. Well, there's a problem with me, it's because um, we don't really have. We don't. 
Dolores could not actually be alive. Um, I'm not going to do that because I don't want her to get radiation sickness or something. It's just way too dangerous to just randomly run into a ringing phone in the middle of a radioactive ghost town. Damn right. We, we're not taking any chances. It took a while before the ringing stopped. It was pretty annoying for all of us. Ten, ten is really thirsty. Have a drink of water now. Right. We don't really want to do this. But we don't have to, so yeah. We, you see, this is the problem. It's always good to have like um, Ted by himself, but have another person doing the work. Um, but now that we don't have that, it's a bit annoying. We always thought life could be much better than was before we got new. Now we think about how much better it, how much it could be. When, now we think life could be much better. Yep, in a way, not that much has changed. Ted has gone crazy. Making his sock puppets again. Um, okay, well, it looks like Dolores is coming back. Living in the past is not wise in our current situation. We need to think of today and tomorrow. Ted has gone crazy. Yep. Ted is vigorous enough to do that. Um. Nope, we're not planning an expedition. We discussed everything we could do, and no one is willing to chat anymore. The silence is really, is really disturbing. We should do something. We should do something before we start talking to ourselves instead. Um, yes, the radio would be good. Information in that. Day 13. Only one more day, guys. Aha! How fortunate we took the radio with us. We could probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? Ted seems to be doing alright, even though it's gone. Yep. Yeah. Um, no, I don't know. Ted is vigorous enough. We don't need to, though. Alarm. There is a group of people outside. They don't seem too friendly. We recognise some of them from our from our neighbourhood. They they don't sound too concerned with the well-being of our neighbourhood anymore. But they are very serious, angry, raising their flashlights. We need something before they break in and take everything we have. In this situation, I'll use the axe. Day 14 and achievement progress is unbreakable, so we're gonna, we'll do this. Let's do this tonight and then we'll finish. Some ax action was enough to send those cowards running. Bet your ass that they will be back. Vermin like that are never long gone and they crawl out of the shadows. They might, um, let's keep our axe sharp. Right, this one, Ted is really thirsty. We're gonna give him some water. You hear that? It sounds like animals are stampeding just above our heads. Across the what used to be our beautiful lawn. They're not getting away with that. It must be a perfect opportunity to get some fresh food. Who should go out hunting? No, not doing it. Okay, so that is it, guys. Um, so we started a new beginning, but fortunately, it looks like we've only got Ted. So it's going to be an interesting one. This ride. Um, tomorrow we'll hopefully get tomorrow. When I record next, we'll hopefully. I usually try to do 20 days. So technically, without speaking, that would be 20 or 10 days. I mean. Um, Days would be technically would be 
up into the 35s. I think one day 15 days. Or maybe 10 days, I don't mind. But 20 is the aim actually. So thank you for watching again guys. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. More videos will be up with you uh, shortly. Um, my name is Pigeon. Good night.